The playoffs still in the picture for the Elmira Jackals, but only if they win out the rest of their schedule. Elmira kicking off their five game road trip tonight. The first stop. Fort Wayne, the Jackals facing off against the Comets. Yeah, believe me, they brought the fire just three minutes in. ECHL Rookie of the Month, Eric Fee, putting it past Travis Fullerton. The K's go up one zip. On to the second now. It's CJ Severin with the wraparound setting up James Marvin. The defenseman shoots. He scores the Jackals down two. And the Comets, they would not quit. Sean Sladowski wide open in front of the net goes top shelf. Elmira trailing 3 0. The Jackals had no answer for rookie goalie Roman Will. Travis Fullerton made 26 saves, but the Comets roll 4 1 with the loss. The Jackals now eliminated from the Kelly Cup playoffs for the second year in a row. To baseball, Elmira College facing off against Empire 8 rival Utica. The ace Joe Kidd on the mound. Kidd throwing with the big boys as he blanks Utica. Now to the bottom of the second. Elmira with two on, but Ethan Bliss. Bring in the heat. That K ends the inning still scoreless at Dunfield. Later bases juice for Utica. But look at this defense. Jordan Marquez to Brian Waymeyer, the pioneer out at the plate. Then the very next batter, though, he would get the job done. Adam Paxton rifles it to right field. The two crossing the bag for Utica. Elmira playing catch up at the soaring Eagles slide 6-3. Well, in basketball, after another banner season for the Horseheads girls team, the Blue Raiders landing another award. The Southern Tier Athletic Conference Metro West naming senior forward Amanda Sheefin and point guard Marlia Nolan to the All-Star team. The Blue Raiders won the Section 4 Class AA title this year, their third time in a row. Forward Amanda Sheefin also signed her national letter of intent earlier this season to, to Division I Canisius College. Also, Corning getting a shout-out, junior guard Olivia LeBaron also picked for the All-State team. And then the conference also naming the All-Division awards. Elmira sophomore Zaria Thomas, Horsehead senior Katie Reasons, and Corning junior Lauren Fee all being recognized. After dropping their first game of the season, Cornell Lacrosse has more than bounced back. The Big Red stringing together seven wins so far this season with the hopes of adding on another this weekend. And it's rival time. Cornell will play at Ivy League foe Harvard tomorrow at one. Last year, the Crimson took the W in this matchup, but it's safe to say Cornell is looking for a different outcome. The Big Red are ranked eighth in the nation, and with a win tomorrow, Cornell will remain perfect in the Ivy League. Everyone in that locker room is just focused on, you know, getting the win, um, and, and that's I, that's what I think makes everyone and this team as a whole um, so special. It's going to come down to what it always does, you know, how hard we play, getting after the ground balls, you know, taking care of it offensively, playing sound defense, and, and all the little things that you got to do early in the year.